author of the Lean Media book, blog, and video channel available from leanmedia.org. Today, I'm going to be talking about Amazon Seller Central and adding a new FBM product to your inventory. If this video helped you, please take a moment to like the video and subscribe to my channel. Disclaimer, you're responsible for following Amazon's terms and your experience may be different than what I'm about to show you based on when you're watching this video and what sort of account you have and other factors too. So here's my Amazon inventory. I'm going to be adding a new product. It's a new, brand new product. We have inventory of this particular product. And I know for a fact that this particular product is not actually created uh, in Amazon Seller Central. Um, it was created in an, a separate Amazon program called Amazon Advantage, but I have new copies of it and I wanna add a new one. So go to this page, inventory, manage inventory. You'll come to this page, click add a product. So you'll be prompted to find your products in Amazon's catalog. And I know what the product is based on its ISBN number. So it's a media product. You can also use a UPC code or an ASIN or something like that. I'm gonna paste it in there and click this. Okay, so it found the product. Excel Intermediate Cheat Sheet for Microsoft 365. It shows the other information here. Offer one used and new. So somebody else is already selling this thing. And I'm gonna select a condition. I have new editions of this particular product. Click new, sell this product. You'll be brought to this page. I strongly recommend adding a seller SKU. You need to do this anyways. What I usually do is I just paste in the UPC or the ISBN number, and then I add M to the end. M tells me merchant fulfilled. That is fulfilled by merchant, FBM. Um, if I was doing FBA, I might add A to the end of it. Your price. Okay, so keep in mind that your price uh, should not only reflect your own costs and things like that, but it also reflects what the customer will see. So as many of you know, if you price an item below the new list price uh, by the other seller or the FBA seller, you may be able to win the, the buy box depending on how you have your account set up, how reliable you are, uh, if you don't have any uh, Amazon um, issues with your account. So let's say this product, the other seller is selling it new, $8.99. So I might want to sell it for $7.99. The other factor you should keep in mind here is that um, whether or not you're offering free shipping or it's something that the other that the uh, customer will have to pay for, because that will determine how it shows up when they're browsing Amazon. Quantity, I have 10 of this item. Condition, this is important. Don't try to fudge this thing. If, it's, if it really is new, you can list it as new. Don't be doing something used like new if it's really worn around the edges. So just be careful with that. And then you select, I will ship this item myself. So this is FBM, fulfilled by merchant. FBA, fulfilled by Amazon. That would be Amazon will ship and provide customer service. So I'm just going to do this one, save and finish. So you get a prompt, it's submitted. Um, it'll be in the system soon. You may get some other issues with this uh, if that's the case, like Amazon tells you that there's a problem or the listing doesn't show up on Amazon.com. You'll need to get in touch with Amazon Seller Central support to see what's going on. For more information on how to get the most out of different types of selling programs, including Amazon Seller Central, FBA or FBM, Shopify, uh, Amazon Advertising, Amazon KDP, I have all these videos available at leanmedia.org. Just click on my YouTube channel to see a list of them. And also explain the lean media framework here. Um, take a look at my blog and I have some written stuff and I also have a Twitter account. Uh, just go to the bottom here and you can select, uh, click on that little Twitter symbol and you can see what I have to say. This is Ian Lamont signing off. If this video helped you, please take a moment to like it or follow me on YouTube and you can see more of my videos and blog posts on leanmedia.org. Thank you so much for watching.